हेलो एवरीवन यू आर ऑल वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 974 एंड टुडेस टॉपिक इज द मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ रिक्लेम रबर टू ऑप्टेन और टू गेट द रबर फ्रॉम वन tires tubes damaged shoes gasket lot of other rubber materials and sometimes we also call it recycle or reclaim means uh, is a process is involved and process with reaction and that's why it is called uh, reclaim rubber so first what uh, we are doing to manufacture the reclaim rubber it is cut into small pieces and there it is ground to powder and that powder uh, is uh, treated on the magnetic belt in order to separate all the magnetic materials especially the uh, ferrous iron uh, components as an impurity and after the purification then it is uh, devulcanized devulcanized means uh it is uh, treated with zinc chloride at uh, 200 degree centigrade temperature at high pressure maybe 200 pound and after uh, devulcanization uh, the fiber will be separated out from that and then other chemical treatments are there for example that is uh, reclaimed uh, chemicals reclaimed chemicals are uh, the petroleum oil and uh that is uh, charcoal oil and after treating with then again we are adding uh, some softening agent and finally it is washed with water and it is dried and then it is utilized for reclaim purpose actually reclaim rubber nowadays is very common the reason is that first its production is very cheap secondly the process is not that much complex like other centric rubber or to isolate the natural rubber and secondly uh, that uh, it is uniform and it can be used for different purposes again to make the tires tubes gasket and so many other uh, articles so that's why nowadays reclaim rubbers are very much in use because of its uh, uh process is simple and its cost is less as compared to synthetic and natural rubber so this he i mean the uh reclaim uh, rubber uh we are manufacturing and obtaining by process of heating and chemical reactions where they are devulcanized and then again vulcanized and washed and all these things all these process we are following and that's why it is called reclaim uh, rubber number 1 a reclaim rubber is manufactured from miscellaneous waste rubber articles like worn out tires gaskets hoses and foot ears etc which are heated and treated actually they are heated and treated that's why it is called reclaimed heated and treated with chemicals so once any rubber which are heated and treated with chemicals and again we are recovering it that is called reclaimed rubber and these reclaimed rubbers they are uh, manufactured from all the waste material uh, which are broken and which are uh, miscellaneously used and they are all in the form of scrap all these ones in this manner the substantial uh, devulcanization or degeneration of the rubber compound to its original plastic state takes place <coughs> so in this process what we are doing it is devulcanized and in this devulcanized process or we can say degenerated process they are all broken down into its uh, plastic material state number 
the deworkanized product thus obtained can be processed and compounded and vulcanized again and by reclaiming is mean a chemical treatment that is called depolymerization so with this chemical treatment again uh, this uh, waste rubber material is depolymerized means all the polymers big polymers they are broken down into small pieces that is called depolymerization by which uh, waste rubber product gives back its rubber content uh, through separation of other materials such as fibers so in this way the fiber material is separated out by depolymerization uh, but combined with sulfur is not removed since so the combined rubber with sulfur is remaining same number 3 the miscellaneous uh, waste rubber articles such as tires tubes scrape uh, cut to small pieces and ground to uh, fine particles in a cracker so cracker is a type of machine in that machine is all ground it is broken down in fine uh, particles and which exerts powerful grinding and tearing action so in that cracker it, it is having powerful blades and those uh, blades they can uh, put lot of pressure and uh, powerful grinding and also uh, tearing up action will take place uh, finally the ground scrape is then passed under a magnetic separator for removing the ferrous that is magnetic material uh, impurities and the purified waste powder rubber is then digested in a steam jacketed uh, digester with agitation blades with sodium hydroxide a uh, solution containing chlorides of zinc or calcium and these chlorides of zinc and calcium at high temperature like 200 degrees centigrade and high pressure is 200 pound per square inch uh, for 15 to 18 hours depending upon the uh, material composition so by uh, doing this again uh, the devolcanization will take place and sulfur will be uh, separated out so after that process then uh, this powder rubber is treated with zinc or calcium chloride in order to separate the uh, fiber number 4 uh, by treating with zinc or chloride uh, the fiber are zinc or calcium chloride yeah zinc or calcium chloride the fibers are hydrolyzed and rubber become uh, devolcanized after the removal of fibers uh, the reclaimed agents such as petroleum and coal tar oils and these petroleum and coal tar oils they are known as reclaimed agents they are added and softeners are added uh, sulfur is removed as sodium sulfite Uh, and polysulfide and so rubber becomes devolcanized completely and number 5 the devolcanized rubber is washed and then sent to the uh, dewatering to squeeze out the water and dry to requisite water content whatever water we require only that much content will remain in the uh, rubber uh, finally the dried uh, rubber is mixed up with uh, processing and uh, reinforcing agents so again it, uh, the chemicals are there they are known as uh, processing and reinforcing agents such as clay and carbon black so the clay and carbon black they are known as uh, reinforcing agents that one is added 
uh, and softeners in a small proportion is mixed in uh, Banbury mixer. So softener is, and usually softeners are sometimes uh, the gasoline oil, uh, that one is added and that is in Banbury mixer and then force throw hot roller uh, which shape the rubber in the form of sheet and then your uh, rubber sheet will be ready for shipment of our transportation. And number six, advantages of reclaimed uh, rubber. A, it is less costly. Main thing is that it is one of the cheapest rubber, the one which is reclaimed. Uh, it is less costly and uniform in composition than natural rubber. B, the mixing time uh, required for reclaimed rubber is much less as compared to new rubber. Uh, C. It has good aging properties than new rubber because it uh, its aging process is better than uh, good uh, than natural or synthetic rubber. Uh, it is free from scratching problems. Uh, it is uh, fast curing as compared to synthetic new uh, rubber. Uh, D. It is less thermoplastic than new rubber and reclaimed rubber uh, stocks do not tend to uh, revert after vulcanization. Processing takes place the little time. So here, uh, in the case of reclaimed rubber, the processing time uh, is very less. Uh, that is. Uh, Vulcanization processing time is very less as compared to synthetic or new rubber. Heat developed during the processing is minimum as compared to uh, synthetic or uh, new rubber. That is uh, E is uh, that is your reclaimed rubber. So reclaimed rubber is used in making shoes. I mean, what are the uses of reclaimed rubber? So there are a lot of uses. What for what purpose we are using? I have given here one by one for making shoes, tires, tubes, heels, belts, horses, automobile floor mats, inner tube, or uh, rubber cement. If I say rubber cement, actually in the same uh, reclaimed rubber, when little amount of uh, gasoline is added, so it will be like an adhesive and that adhesive is very good to uh, bring two sheets and put together and it uh, uh, provides very strong adhesion, that's why it is called a rubber cement. So as a rubber cement it is used to, I mean, uh, to make it powerful uh, adhesion, adhesive and then hard rubber battery uh, containers for automobile and solvent cement. So with this I will stop, thank you very much for watching the lecture.